has become clear that Binance are actually listing low cap meme coins. First of all, it was Nero that caught everybody by surprise and then more recently, we've seen Act and Peanut. So of course, everybody wants to know which meme coin is next. So today we're going to be talking about why Binance are doing this and it is very important. It will become clear later in the video. And we'll also talk about a strategy to how we can find the next Binance listing. Let's rewind the clock. It all started on Binance in September with Nero. Now, I actually bought Nero in early August, but I'm not going to pretend it's because I knew a Binance listing was coming. I actually bought it because it was the OG Nero rather than the Cabal Nero that was doing so well at the time. So it listed on Binance on September 16th, whilst the market cap was still at only 16 million. Fast forward to the present day, and we recently seen Nero peak at a market cap of just over 1.15 billion. And just to clarify, despite buying at under a 5 mil market cap, I am not as rich as you think. I actually sold 50% of the bag at a 2x to take my initial out, took some profit on the way up, and I'm left with a moon bag at this point. Now, it is a decent sized moon bag. It could have been way better, but it could have also gone way worse. Okay, so we've been through the case study. So the next question is, why are Binance listing these low cap meme coins? There is a very simple answer for me here, and that is volume. Binance will have seen Nero doing crazy numbers in transactional volume, despite being at such a low market cap. Now, we all know that volume is money for exchanges, and they can clearly see that attention is on meme coins. And with Nero, the gamble quite simply paid off because we can see that it is currently doing around 300 to $600 million in daily volume. So more recently, Binance decided to list two new meme coins just last week, which were Peanut and Act. So just to quickly paint the picture again, Peanut was listed at a $120 million market cap, running all the way to 2.2 billion and is currently now doing daily volume of around 1.6 billion dollars the ai meme coin act was listed at 20 million ran all the way up to 800 million and despite being currently sat at just under 600 million dollars in market cap it is generating 24 hour volume of just over 440 million. Now, of course, at this point, you may be wondering, are BNB insiders actually buying up some of these tokens before they get listed? And to that, all I can say is no comment. So now we will move on to my simple three step strategy to hopefully find the next Binance listing. And just to make it very, very clear, I am not part of the Binance team. I have no insider knowledge. I am just taking my best guess, just like the rest of you guys. Step one is that we are going to find coins that are doing impressive volume relative to their market cap. Now, some people may prefer to use Dex Screener or other tools here, but to keep things very simple, I'm going to be using CoinGecko. On CoinGecko, we are going to use the categories option to make things very simple. We can look at meme coins just in general. We can search by cat theme coins. We can search by AI meme coins. We can even go as detailed now as the top zoo themed coins. So just to use cat coins as an example here, we can see the likes of Happy Cat which is at a market cap of 114 million, doing almost $60 million in volume, which is very impressive. However, on the other side, we can see coins here such as Nacho with a $54 million market cap, but only doing $847,000 in volume. Just be aware that newly listed coins can give a false reading because when they are first listed, there is a lot of hype and eventually that will start to slow down. And the easiest way to find these coins is if you see on CoinGecko, the seven day column, if they don't have a price, or a percentage within that, they're probably relatively new. So once we have identified some high volume coins that of course are not already listed on Binance, we can then move on to step number two, 
which is looking at the top 10 holders. We can use this to eliminate the chances of red flags around a meme coin because we see so many of them rug time and time again. And if a project has a high percentage of coins in the top 10 wallets, that also can scare a lot of people off. To do this, we can use tools like BirdEye, which give safety checks where we can see exactly what percentage of the supply is in the top 10 wallets. Personally, I don't like to see anything over 30%, but this is completely subjective. Some people may go for 40, 50%, others may be looking at 20%. It is entirely up to you and your rules here but one thing to keep in mind is that some projects depending on what they are doing with their meme coin may have a treasury or a wallet that is holding rewards that of course will take up a decent chunk of that supply okay so you have found a meme coin that is doing decent volume relative to the market cap you've also checked the top 10 wallets and there are no red flags there so now we move on to step number three and this could be very obvious for a lot of people, but it is simply that they have a solid community. Now, meme coins have no utility, which means that community is pretty much everything. And for Binance looking at this, they see it simply as free marketing because these hardcore loyal community members are going to talk about this project everywhere they go. Now, there is no binary way to see if a community is good or bad. But the simple things that you can do is drop into the Telegram or Discord and see how active it really is with real users, not just bots. And you can also search the hashtag on X to see how actively people are talking about this meme coin. If the vibes do check out, then you could be on to a winner. So at this point, the process should have painted a pretty good picture for you to see if it may one day get listed on Binance. And from here, you can go away, do a deeper dive, look into the project, get involved with the community and make your own decision. However, just to reiterate the point again, this is not a guaranteed process for Binance listing meme coins. We are simply taking our best guess to find which coins Binance may be interested in. But on Thursday, I will release another video with three coins that I believe have a pretty decent chance. So if you don't want to miss that, make sure you subscribe, put the notifications on, dropping in a couple of days.